Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to clean flounder. We've got a nice flounder on the flats today, testing out a, a new lure, and a lot of people struggle with flounder. They are delicious, one of my personal favorite fish for uh, that, that are caught inshore, and I've struggled for many years as well. And so the, the key is to just is to really do two fillets on each side. So that's the that's the core premise. And so what I do is as I just start out, basically going right in, as kind of close to the gills and going up as close as I can to the head. That's where a lot of the best meat is. This knife is not the best. I need to sharpen this puppy up, but I basically just go right up along the edge. I'll twist them around. And then I'll go till I get to about the center line. And then I do a, a cut all the way down the vertebrae. And you want to be able to feel the, uh, the vertebrae as you're going down. If you're not perfect on them, it's not that big of a deal, but the if you can get right on top of them, that is, that is the goal. And you, if you look closely, you can see there's just, a, just the top of the hump. There's a slight line there and just follow, follow the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is the key because if you try to do a normal, like a normal fillet on a normal fish, is that you're, you're gonna lose a lot of meat and, and doing, it this is, doing it this way is the way to just get the most meat possible. And so now we have that cut down the center line. And so this, this top half is the best meat. You know, we have some ribs to deal with down here, so I do the top part first. All right, so now we've got the center line. So now the point is to go just start, go down the center line and just start angling the knife out. And what you're doing is you're just cutting right up along the edge. And you will be getting a ton of meat. There will be hardly any meat that is missed. So again, just go down there, just point the, the knife in. And you can, if you look up, right, you're, you're, you can see these ribs where you're going right up along the edges of those ribs. And uh, this is the only one we got today, so I'm going to try to get as much meat as possible. I'll go nice and slow. And, and again, just kind of angle it down and just follow right up along the ribs. And then when you get up here, you can, can now power through. There are a couple bones right up here at the top that you have to power through. And then now we're clear of the bones. So now we can just go ahead and just keep, just again, just doing sweeps. And you can see this is, there's no meat left. You can go, oh, I did meet, I missed some there when I was fooling around with those bones. But I will kind of get in there and let's see if we can get that. All right. And so now, now we need to break through the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up the flap and just start breaking through the skin up top. And then we'll just follow the line down. And then I like to just cut it all the way off up top. And there we are. So that is a good chunk of meat. Again, there's really hardly any meat left behind. Just missed a little tad there. But that's the way to go and just get as much meat as possible. These, this flays, or these flays just taste so good. It's a shame to miss any meat. And that's the best way, right? Get in, go up across the center line, and then start going out, cutting down the, right down the edge. And you got it. Now we're going to go ahead and, and uh, skin this guy. And just like normal, Right, the key for skinning is get your knife, get it close to the edge so that your knife can, so that your knife doesn't have this gap. You're gonna miss a bunch of meat if you have this gap. You don't miss any meat at all if you have your, your handle over the edge and you can keep it just nice and flush to the table. All right, so now we're just gonna get started. And now we can just slowly get this skin off of this meat. We are going to be having some good dinner tonight. All right, there's threw the skin out. It's now some real tasty meat right there, and I immediately soak it in salt water. That's you know salt water with ice in there. That's really cold. That's going to keep that meat nice and fresh. And now we can start on the uh, on the back side. So this side is a little bit more difficult. You do have some ribs to deal with. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to start again right over the the rib bones, right over the vertebrae, and start start our little uh, you know start just following the uh, the backbone again just kind of just keep going in there just have the knife angled down and you are going to get as much meat as possible you can get pretty aggressive with it so now i'm almost breaking through and so this time i'll just go ahead and break through and just follow it all the way down and so there we are so you can see i was just doing cut after cut after cut not missing really any meat at all. And now we can just start moving up the back. We have to get through the ribs. 
and those ribs are right around there, so I just go ahead and just cut it straight off. Instead of dealing with those ribs, this, 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 this flounder is so flat, all this, this ribs are going to basically be impeding all the meat right there. So I just, I just cut it off right at the start of the ribs. And now we have, again, that's just pure, pure backbone. All the meat is right here. And it'll be on the grill tonight. Skin's gone. There's some nice fillets, ready to go. And again, the same premise holds true on the other side, right? I'm just gonna do the same cut, cut down, get right on the spine, and then start going out. Start flushing it out, flushing it out, and that's the way to get the most meat possible. So the same, same premise holds true. The white side that still does have some meat. It's not quite as much as the other side, but it still has some meat. So I'm just gonna do the same exact process. Yeah, so the back side, just do the same exact thing, right? Just start in the, on the get the cut going, get toward the middle. And this, and this on the back side, you actually have this line. So here's the center line right there. You can see it nice and clear. And so now we're just gonna just go right down the line. Simple as that. And I start on the top side first. It's just a little bit easier. All right, so now I got the top side going. I'm just, just doing the same exact thing, right? Just taking the knife and just cutting down right up, keeping the angle down. Got to power through that, that bone right there. Angle the knife down and just power right through the skin. Just like that. So again, nice, nice slab of meat. Again, that's the white side, the white top. That's some really good meat on there. Again, straight bones. Now we'll do the same thing as before. We want to get the skin off. So there we are, that's the white side. Again, still a nice, nice slab of meat. Get that right there in the uh, cold water. And then the final one is the, the white side bottom. And again, same premise. And just as before, we're gonna just go till we get the rib bones. And we're starting to get the guts there. You can see a little bit of the guts. It's the stomach there, just go above the stomach. Try to claim as much of that meat as possible. And then we'll just go right on up. So that way we don't have to cut out rib bones and all that sort of stuff. All right, there is a, that's the bottom. The bottom white side, still again, plenty of meat. And then here is the flounder, right? Just to evaluate ourselves, right? The, the key is just, to, did you get this meat? The thickest meat is gonna be right here. This is all bones, all bones, all bones, all bones. Pretty much see right through it. That's the goal. See right through your filet. That's when you know you got as much meat as possible. So that's it for now. Just wanted to share how to clean these flounder. These are really, really good eating. We're gonna go and, uh, and now you know, get, this, uh, get this meat. I'll be cooking it tonight. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions on, on cleaning flounder or if you have any ideas on ways to improve this, I would love to hear them. And I look at all the comments. So leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.